Hi, I'm Bianca Miller-Cole. Welcome to From the Ground Up. Now, as you know, we are going through the four key elements of the book Self-Made, my book Self-Made, I should probably say. And the four key elements are, of course, the vision, the action, the reaction, the evolution. Now, previously, we talked about the vision. How do you create the purpose for the business? What do you want the business to do? What problem do you solve? And now it's time to really look at the action. And that is really where your team of expert freelancers come in. And so this particular episode, we're talking about building the brand identity. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, fundamentally, we want to think about how the brand is presented to the world. How is it presented to your customers? Now, as you know, I'm building a skincare brand. So I needed to think about how I would create that brand identity. What did I want it to look like? Who did I want it to appeal to? And so on. Now, earlier on, I talked about um, the trademarking process, and I'm pleased to say our trademark went through. Yes. And so I can now announce formally the name of the brand. The brand is called High End Skin. So High End Skin uh, is the name that I went with because, as you know, before when we talked about naming, it's so difficult sometimes to think of a name that maybe appeals to uh, the audience you want to work with or a name that you feel best illustrates the solution that you're providing. So I started thinking about different ways that I could create a new word that doesn't really mean anything, but give it some meaning. And so Haiyan for me stands for have it all now. Now I want to create a brand that means that people feel empowered about their skin. And I'm very conscious that women like myself and, and men will of course use the product. We're seeing that too. I'll talk about that later. Women like myself, we're busy. Whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're a homemaker, whether you're a career professional, you're busy, but you want to have it all now. Fundamentally, that's the desire, right? We want to be able to have great skin, but not spend 15 steps on doing so. And so that's the brand, high end skin, have it all now. And of course, it comes under the Bianca Miller London umbrella and brand. And that's part of our relaunch and rebranding strategy. And so I need to find a professional that could help me to create that new brand identity. So I went on to Fiverr and I spoke to a variety of different graphic designers and I asked them about their experience. I saw different elements of their portfolio and so on. And I built rapport with some of them and the ones that I felt were aligned with my vision because not everyone is. And that's part of the journey of finding the right people for your team is finding people that you think can bring your vision to life. The people who I thought were aligned with my vision I um, asked them to provide me with a quote, right? How much would it cost? Now, of course, when you're in business, there are different elements that will factor into your decision making on who you use in your team. And so some of the quotes came in and were too expensive. I'll just be honest. It was above my affordability, right? And, and so I couldn't go with them, even if I felt they were the best fit. It's also about budget, of course. And so I uh, looked at that, I looked at the budget, but I also looked at who I felt um, understood my vision and was able to bring it to life and who I built a good rapport with, who I could get on with. And there was one person in particular that stood out for me and that was Sunny. And so I decided to work with Sunny to build my brand vision. So together we decided that we would build a few key things. Now this is important. When you're thinking about your, your checklist for your brand, you need to think about what types of logos and, um, and, and packaging do you need? And so I spoke to Sunny and we decided that we needed a few key things. We needed the logo. So we needed the logo that represented the new brand identity and what it would appear like across the different mediums, i.e. social media and um, on packaging and so on, right? So we need the logo, so that's first and foremost. And then we needed to look at packaging. So what did the label look like? How would the logo be represented on the bottle? So we looked at that. Um, we also talked about we might need um, some uh, boxes to be able to provide the product in. We may need boxes or mailing bags to be able to send the product out. We needed stationery and so on. So we came up with a complete pack of what would be needed for the brand. And it was a really interesting conversation, the first conversation with Sunny, because I showed her what the bottles looked like. She asked me, what other brands do you like, Bianca? 
And I think this is important too, right? Think about other brands that you like the look of. Try and draw inspiration from other brands. You can give to that designer to give them an insight into where your mind is, what you think is possible. But at the same time, in my opinion, I like to be able to say to the designer, do what you do best. <laughs> like, give me some of your inspiration. What do you think? And now that could be a tricky road because sometimes you give a lot of license and they go and do something totally different to what you would like. You have to start again. Now, Sunny said something to me that was really interesting during our first call. She said, Bianca, uh, all the things you've shown me have no color. <laughs> Are you adverse to color? And I was like, yeah, I really like wearing black. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love color, but I also love black and white and simplicity, right? She said, oh, well, Bianca, maybe you want to think about some color. Um, and so we um, went on the journey to try and color. And um, there were various iterations of the logo and changes and so on. And she tried to inject some color in, but of course I've already chosen my bottles. I showed you guys the bottles, right? So then I have to think about what label will suit the bottles. In essence, we went back to black and white. And I'm not embarrassed about that. I am being honest with you about the journey of what it's like to work with a designer, give them some license, but also be conscious of what you like and what you want for your brand. So together, we came up with a, uh, a logo that we were happy with. Um, at this point, we'll be showing you maybe some of her design work. And I loved seeing that, by the way. You won't always have that. This is a special thing for you guys. But seeing her working on the logo and how she came up with the logo and the movement and so on was just so great. And so seeing her at work was, was lovely. Um, so you'll get to see that now. So. Once we had the uh, logo created and agreed, then we started working on packaging and we started working on the wording that would go on the packaging. But I also wanted to have a QR code. So I contacted another Fiverr expert to help me create that QR code. Now, the reason I'm saying this to you now is because when you're thinking about packaging, you want to be thinking about the uh, steps that you need to take in order to make sure your packaging has the longevity for your brand, for the trajectory that you're hoping for it to achieve. What do I mean by that? Well, when you're creating the packaging, you're not just creating it necessarily for yourself, for your own inventory, if you're posting out yourself. In the future, you might decide that you need, uh, you wanna go into a store, so you might need barcodes. You decide you wanna be able to uh, put it on a shelf, but you want your customers to be able to access your website with ease. So you put a QR code. And so I had to um, get some support from my Fiverr VA who helped me to source the right barcode company to get me that barcode that I needed to put on my product so that when it goes into a store or if it goes into a fulfillment center, we have the barcode ready for that. But also she helped me find a QR code company, a QR code expert who could create that QR code and put it on the box as well. So this is all the things you need to think about as you're preparing that brand. So of course, the brand identity, what does it look like? How does it feel? How does it resonate with your audience? The copy that goes on the bottles and labels and so on, but also what else do you need? So is, it, is there an address on there? Is there a QR code? Is there a barcode? What are the things you need to be compliant, but also to think about the future of the brand? So that has been the journey so far, working with Sunny, working with the barcode specialist, and of course, working with my chosen Fiverr freelancer in the QR code space. And it has been phenomenal because it's just so great to see it all coming together. So now let me give you your checklist. You want to go onto the Fiverr website and start to streamline, start to find a list of people that you want to approach. I would suggest creating a template message, giving them an idea of what it is you want to create and the timeline you want to create it in, sending that to them, and then having a conversation, have some dialogue, have a meeting if you wish to, to really understand whether they can achieve what you want to achieve. Bear in mind when you're creating your list, your budget, how much can you afford? What do you want to spend on this? So you are choosing people accordingly. Then you want to think about what you need for your brand kit. So do you need a logo? Do you need social media logo sizes and shapes and so on? Because that's different, of course. Do you need 
packaging labels? Do you need a box? Do you need a mailer? What are the things that you need to be able to actually sell that end product? Then you want to think, who does the brand resonate with? Who is the audience? What other brands do you like? Have you looked at other brands and found bottles on the shelf that you thought, wow, I like that. That makes my brand stand out. That makes my brand different. Or actually that aligns with the brand ethos that I want to project onto my customer, right? Then of course, you wanna think about how much budget do you have for the brand identity? How much can you afford to spend on that branding expert to help you on that journey to getting the brand right? Because of course, that may dictate who you choose to speak to in the first place as you start to shortlist. And finally, which Fiverr expert do you really feel understands what you want to create? and is gonna be able to help you create a brand that you love. So that was the checklist. I really hope that is gonna help you on your journey to finding the best expert for you. Now, of course, you can take a look at my expert team that I'm building on Fiverr over on the website. So have a look there, but also think about how you build a team that fits your vision. I'll see you next time.